I'd like to start this video by saying I am in no way a professional, so please excuse me if I do anything wrong. I'm not saying this is the correct way to do things, this is just how I've done them. So I picked up this HP DC7800P for free, and today I'm going to be using it to show you how to set up a single NIC router with OpenSense. I'm also using a Cisco Catalyst 2950T switch it's not a gigabit switch but it's got two gigabit ports i won't be using the gigabit ports because this is just a temporary setup for the video this switch is way too loud to keep on all the time so let's begin by resetting the switch so to reset this switch switch it on or plug it in and hold down the mode button for about 10 seconds until the lights they will flash and then they will stop flashing and that's when you let go of the button it takes a few minutes to boot back up but once it has, all the configuration will have been completely wiped and you'll be able to start from fresh. The next thing you need to do is hold down the mode button for about 3 or 4 seconds to put the switch into express setup mode. You won't be able to do this if it's been configured beforehand, which is why we've reset it. You'll want to plug in a laptop or something to go through the express setup. You can either do this with a console cable or you can do it through an ethernet cable in the web browser on a laptop or something. This is the way I'm doing it because I don't have a console cable. So what you're seeing now is my laptop display. I'm going to open a Windows terminal window. You can use command prompt or PowerShell or whatever you choose. Just type ipconfig, press enter and look for your IPv4 address under your ethernet adapter. Now normally there will be a default gateway displayed, doesn't seem to be the case this time, but we can just use 10.0.0.1 as our address for the switch. So type that into Firefox and press enter and you'll be greeted with the Cisco Express setup screen. You want to type in the IP address that the switch is going to be using, the default gateway which the switch is going to be using, uh, passwords, subnet mask, and make sure you enable Telnet because we're going to be using that very shortly with PuTTY. As you can see, I forgot to confirm my password for the switch, so I'm just going to do that now. Once the page refreshes, it will try to get to the new IP address. Obviously it won't be able to get there yet because there's no router for it to pass through, but that's fine. So the next step is to hook up the HP to the switch. I'm going to be booting OpenSense off my USB stick because I don't have a hard drive in this computer at the moment. I'll plug the HP into the switch, then connect all the cables for the computer. Then you want to start the computer up. I've already got it set to boot from USB, so as you can see, it's slowly booting into OpenSense. It may take a few minutes. Now, I almost missed this the first time I set this up. While OpenSense is booting, there will be a prompt that says, press any key to enter manual interface assignment. You should press a key here because it makes our lives a hell of a lot easier when we get to the system configuration. So OpenSense will ask you if you want to configure VLANs. Type Y and then press enter to get into the configuration. You will then want to type the interface name of your single NIC, which in my case is EM0, then type a new VLAN ID. After that, don't type anything, just press enter to get out of the VLAN setup. Now our WAN interface is going to be using this VLAN, so you want to type the name of the VLAN interface, which is EM0 underscore VLAN 888, in my case, yours will probably be different. And for the LAN interface, you'll just want to put EM0 or whatever your interface name is. Then after that, don't type anything, just press enter. After that configuration is complete, OpenSense will restart. It will probably take a while, it did for me. After it's restarted, you'll want to log in, type the number two and then press enter to get into interface IP configuration. 
type the number for your LAN interface and then press enter. You do not want to configure the LAN interface by DHCP, you want to do it manually. So now you need to enter a new LAN IP address. I'm using 200.0.0.1. You'll want to enter a subnet bit count, I'm just going to use 24 because it's the default. For the next entry just press enter, you don't need to type anything here. Again just press enter, it will automatically set up IPv6 for you. Then type in Y and press enter to set up DHCP. You'll want to enter a start and end address, I'm using 200.0.0.100 and 200.0.0.200 respectively. After that, OpenSense will restart a few services and the configuration is mostly complete. So now I'm just plugging in my WAN cable. This is a cable which I've plugged into my regular switch, which is then connected to my ISP provided router, which is then connected to the internet. Once you've plugged your WAN cable in, you'll want to go back into OpenSense, press 2 again to get back to the IP configuration, choose your WAN interface this time, and then select yes for configuration via DHCP. Now for the most part we've configured OpenSense, we need to Telnet into the switch and configure the ports on there. I'm going to be using PuTTY to Telnet into the switch, but you can use any application that allows you to do it. PuTTY is just my program of choice. So you want to type in the host name that you set up in Express Setup Mode. For me, that was 200.0.0.241. You'll want to type in the password you configured for Telnet access on the switch. And now you get to see how terrible I am with Cisco. So firstly you want to type enable to allow you to configure the switch, then type in configure terminal, then you'll want to type in VLAN and your VLAN ID, for me it's 888. Then you type in interface and then the name of the port you've connected your router to, so for me that's the first gigabit port, so I'm going to type interface GI0 slash 1. Switch that port to trunk mode and then exit out of that interface configuration. Then you want to type in interface and then the name of your WAN port. For me, that's GI0 slash 2. This is the port we're going to assign to the VLAN number 888. You want to set that to access mode and set it to use VLAN 888. So exit out of both of those and then type show VLAN just to confirm the configuration is correct. In my case, it is. Then finally, you can type copy running dash config space startup dash config and that will copy the current configuration to your startup configuration so nothing gets wiped. So now we can access the OpenSense web interface by typing in 200.0.0.1 which is the IP address we assigned to the LAN interface. Type in the default username and password which is root and OPN SENSE or lowercase. We'll run through the initial configuration. You can change the hostname and domain to whatever you fancy. If you desire, you can turn off the override DNS option. This means that any DNS servers you set in OpenSense won't be overwritten by your regular router. You can basically just keep clicking next throughout all this. I just set a DHCP hostname for the sake of it. Finally click reload to apply all your new changes. And then you can test it by opening a new tab and going to any website that you know exists. And that concludes setting up a single NIC router with OpenSense. I hope you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content because I'll be uploading a lot more in the future.